Hi everyone, I'm Rahul. Today I'm going to introduce our work Hermes, which is done at Safari Research Group in Ethia Zurich with our academic and industrial collaborators. So the key problem that we are trying to address in this work is stemming from long latency of chip load request. As we know that these requests often stall the processes by blocking the instruction retirement from the reorder buffer and as a result significantly limits the performance of today's high performance core. Now traditionally architects have relied on two key techniques to reduce latency of such load requests by employing sophisticated data prefetches as well as increasing the size of the on-chip caches. Now in this work we show that prior prefetches are indeed successfully prefetching a significant fraction of the off-chip load request. However, nearly 50% of the off-chip load requests present in a no prefetching system are still going to off-chip main memory even in presence of a state-of-the-art prefetcher. And 70% of these off-chip load requests even block the reorder buffer. Now if you focus on the load requests that are still going to the off-chip main memory even in presence of a state-of-the-art prefetcher, we see that on-chip cache access latency actually significantly contributes to their total off-chip load latency. We show that nearly 40% of the stall cycles can be eliminated by simply removing the on-chip cache access latency from the critical path of this off-chip load request. Now as the cache hierarchy is continued to getting bigger as well as slower in generations after generation, a study that has been shown in 2007 and a trend that we are still seeing in today's generation processor we, are, we posit that this problem is only going to get exacerbated even more in future generation processes. Thus, to alleviate these challenges, the goal of our work is to improve processor performance by removing the on-chip cache access latency from the critical path of the soft-chip load request. And towards this, we propose Hermes, which is based on two key ideas. First, Hermes predicts which load requests are likely to go off-chip. And second, for those predicted off-chip load requests, Hermes starts fetching the data directly from the main memory while also concurrently accessing the cache hierarchy. Now, to enable accurate off-chip load prediction, Hermes employs the first perceptron based off-chip load predictor that predicts which load requests are likely to go off-chip by only learning from multiple program context information. Now, let me give you a brief example of how Hermes works. So this is how the traditional cache hierarchy looks like in today's processor and this is what the main memory access timeline looks like for an off-chip load request. Now Hermes empl employs a perceptron based off-chip load predictor which we name as Poppet. For every load generated in the core, Hermes first consults Poppet to predict whether this load is likely to go off-chip. Now Pop if Poppet predicts that this load is likely to go off-chip, then Hermes simply waits for the address translation to finish which happens in parallel with the L1 data cache lookup and then directly issues a main memory request to the main memory controller to start fetching the data from the main memory while also concurrently accessing the cache hierarchy. Now if the prediction is correct then the load request that is, that is accessing the cache hierarchy would eventually miss the LLC and arrive at the main memory controller where it will simply wait for the ongoing data transfer to complete. Once the data comes back from the main memory, Hermes simply returns the data back to the core, the saving pressure stall cycles which provides performance benefit. Now once the data returns to the core, Hermes trains the off-chip load predictor thus closing this feedback loop. Now let's try to understand how to design this off-chip load predictor. So there are two broad ways to design an off-chip load predictor. The history-based prediction method as employed by HMP uses branch predictor like hybrid predictor structure to identify requests that are likely to miss the L1 data cache. Now we can easily extend this predictor to predict load requests that are not only missing the L1 data cache but also missing the entire cache hierarchy. The tracking mesh method on the other hand aims to track all the cache block present in the cache hierarchy to accurately identify which load requests are likely to be serviced by the cache hierarchy or not. Now these methods suffer from two key challenges. First, they require large metadata structures and the size of the metadata also increases with the cache hierarchy size. And second, they may need to track all cache operations going on in the entire cache hierarchy which might get extremely complex based on the cache hierarchy configuration. Poppet on the other hand takes a completely different approach by learning from the program behavior to predict which load requests are likely to go off chip. So the key idea here is to correlate different program features with the off chip load request to provide highly accurate predictions while incurring much lower storage overhead as well as design complexity.
Now, in the paper, we have evaluated Poppet against, uh, against predictors that are inspired from these prior works and we show that Poppet provides both higher accuracy as well as higher performance than the predictors that are inspired from this work. So now let's try to uh, delve, delve deep into the predictor design, Poppet design itself. So the pop, we designed Poppet based on a multi-feature hash perceptron model where each feature has its own weight table that stores the correlation between the feature value and the off-chip prediction. Now the prediction happens using simple operations like table lookups, addition and comparison. The prediction happens in three stages. So let me give you a, a brief example of how the prediction happens. So the, in the first stage, Poppet extracts the program a set of program features from the load request that it's trying to predict for. In the second stage, it hashes down the program feature value and they use the hash program feature value to retrieve weights from each individual weight table. In the third stage, it accumulates all the weights and uses the cumulative weight to compute an activation function. Now, if the cumulative weight is higher than an activation threshold, which is statically set at design time, Poppet simply predicts that this load is highly likely to go off chip. Now, how to train this predictor? For that, let's take this example only where the load is predicted to go off chip. But let's see in reality, the load didn't go off chip. So what, ha what does this mean in, in, in reality? So it basically says that the activation shouldn't have happened for this load, which also means that the cumulative weight for this load should have been lower than the activation threshold. So thus to adjust the weight value, Poppet again indexes the, all the weight tables using the hashed feature value and simply decrements each individual weights. Thus, by simple increment and decrement operations, Poppet continuously learns from the program feature itself to accurately identify which load requests are likely to go off chip. Now, let's evaluate Hermes. We evaluate Hermes using CHAMSIM trace driven simulator using a wide range of memory intensive traces spanning across PEG CPU, Parsec, Ligra, and real world application. We are going to compare Hermes against five state of the art LLC prefetches, two types of off chip predictors, as well as an ideal off chip predictor also. For our evaluation, we are going to use 5 cycles L1D round trip latency, 15 cycles L2 and 55 cycles LLC round trip latency. Now for the latency for Poppet to issue a request directly to the main memory controller depends a lot based on the interconnect design between Poppet and main memory controller. For that reason, we sweep this latency from 0 cycles all the way up to 24 cycle in the paper. But for today's discussion, I am going to show you results that uses 6 cycles as this latency. Now let's first analyze the single core performance improvement. So this is how Hermes' performance improvement over a no prefetching system looks like as compared to a state of the art data prefetcher like Pythium. So the first key observation from this figure is that uh, Hermes by itself provides nearly 50% performance improvement of a full blown data prefetcher like Pythia while only incurring one fifth of its storage over it. If we combine Hermes and Pythia together, then the combination outperforms Pythia alone by 5.4% on average. And the third observation is that if I compare Hermes's performance improvement against the ideal Hermes that has an ideal off-chip load predictor, we see that Hermes provides nearly 90% performance benefit of an ideal Hermes also. Now performance improvement only shows the partial picture. To get the full picture, let's also analyze the percentage increase in the main memory request over the no prefetching system for these three configurations. As we can see here, Hermes increases the no main memory request by 5.5% over a no prefetching system on average, whereas Pythia increases the main memory request by 38.5%. Now, if we combine Hermes and Pythia together, then the combination increases the main memory request by an additional 6%. Now, if I compare this increase in the main memory request with the performance increase that I just showed in the previous slide, we can see that for every 1% performance benefit, Pythia actually increases the main memory request by 2%, whereas Hermes implemented on top of Pythia increases by only 1%, and Hermes alone increases by only 0.5%. So this basically shows that Hermes is much more bandwidth efficient than even a bandwidth efficient prefecture like Pythia. And this is for, for this bandwidth efficiency when we evaluate Hermes and Pythia over a wide range of main memory bandwidth configuration, configurations that are actually taken from per single core, uh, per core main memory bandwidth of commercial processors, we see that in extremely main memory bandwidth constant configurations, Hermes even outperforms Pythia. 
and if we combine Hermes and Pythia together, then the combination outperforms Pythia alone in every bandwidth configuration also. Now all these results are not only all these results are not only useful for Pythia as a baseline prefecture. In fact, we have evaluated Hermes on top of multiple state-of-the-art prefecture, and we consistently see that Hermes consistently improves performance benefit on top of wide range of baseline prefectures also. All this performance improvement comes at a modest cost of 4 KB storage overhead as well as 1.5% power overhead on top of an Intel order leg like performance score configuration. We have many more exciting results in the paper, a wide range of performance sensitivity study and many more performance sensitivity study in the extended version of the archive also. We will encourage everyone to go through the extended version. Now to summarize everything, Hermes advocates for off-chip load prediction. So this is a fundamentally different form of speculation than load address prediction employed by traditional prefetches. We show that off-chip load prediction can either be applied by itself or it can be combined with load address prediction to provide additive performance benefits. In a nutshell, Hermes employs a first perceptron based off-chip load predictor that provides high accuracy and high coverage off-chip load prediction while incurring very modest storage over it. Uh, Hermes provides a significant performance benefit over a strong ba uh, baseline that employs the state-of-the-art prefecture and most importantly Hermes provides better performance per bandwidth efficiency. That being said, we still believe that Hermes's accuracy and coverage of off-chip load prediction can improve significantly improve even further and that's why we have open source our infrastructure. In, you can download it from our GitHub repository and in this repository you will get all the workload traces that we have evaluated Hermes with as well as 13 types of data prefecture and 9 types of off-chip predictor implementation out of the box. Now if you want to implement your own off-chip predictor that's also pretty easy. All you have to do is to extend the base class and implement your own train and predict function and you are pretty much good to go. The infrastructure would provide statistics like accuracy and coverage out of the box which you can use to fine tune your own off-chip predictor implementation. We hope that off-chip prediction can further enable multitude of other optimizations like prioritizing loads that are likely to go off-chip in cache queues as well as on-chip network routing better instruction scheduling for data dependent instructions and hopefully many more ideas that provides not only performance improvement but also fairness in today's extremely core processor design. With that hope, I'll be concluding my talk here and I'll be very happy to take questions from the audience. Thank you.